Hello and welcome back Legionnaires, DJ Miles Hill here bringing you some new gameplay footage of a game called Frostpunk. Um, I have been playing this uh, offline, or rather I should say without recording it, just to get a feel for the game. Um, I've managed to complete the first scenario um, up to surviving day 45. Essentially you have to um, grow a settlement bit of uh, some London refugees who have gone north to find out the cause of all this blizzard and cold um, basically turn of events that has caused the whole world to freeze over um, but this time around um, I initially did my first playthrough going down an order path um, you know in, in order how to direct people or give them focus to uh, survive against all this adversity uh, but I will be trying the faith uh, path this time around just to see how it goes. We'll select a new scenario and we're going to start with a new home. Um, can you, or you can just change here, that's different. Okay, the arcs, what's the arcs? Okay, then that's a scenario that I'm probably going to do through a stream or I'll do it as another playthrough of this game. You can actually customize these scenarios, but I'm finding that by keeping it um, medium for the times being, for the time being, just to because it is a hard game, this game is hard. Um, and we'll just keep it as it is as so, and we will start the new scenario. Remember, every law will have unforeseen consequences sooner or later. When someone dies, people lose hope. If there is no place to bury the dead, they will become discontented. Nice. Yeah, well, I'm probably going to cut this bit out anyway, so. We roam the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old. Stripped with pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. Farewell to plenty. And for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope pushed us forward, slowly, step by step. We knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. A new home, we fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator, only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of the people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? What we do, we should expect, whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world as we know it has crumbled. We have to survive. Okay. 
So we've got to fight the cold. We need the generator working. It provides heat and power to other buildings. Without it, we'll freeze to death. Stockpile some coal and start the generator. Okay. Right. We're going to start with uh, placing down a gathering post. You can actually, you, you see these are the, the resources scattered around the area that you can, these are like the tier one resources. Uh, then you have tier two and tier three. Um, these are tier one because they're easy accessible and you just need your workers. You can easily just assign them here basing on what type of worker workers or engineers. These are like the different social classes and you can have up to 15 people assigned to one of these areas. Uh, one of these stockpiles. Thereafter you have got your tier two which are like um, these deposits that you find around the area here. Um, so you've got your wood, frozen wooden trees, you've got an iron ore deposit, uh, some coal. Um, and then you also have the ability to, um, there's actually pumps, coal pumps that you can bring out the ground. If basically they pump water underground and then coal comes up, that's an infinite source of coal. Uh, and then you have the ability to drill into these walls with wall drills and in the ice you'll find more stone. Um, but the only two sources of iron or steel, because steel, um, are these tier one and then tier twos and then there's no tier three for it. Okay, anyway, so we're going to start off and we're going to place a gather post or maybe two gathering posts um, because these will allow your workers to stay warm uh, while they're working and you can actually place two of these to begin with as you've got 30 wood, 10 steel, that's two of those. So I'm going to place one here which covers two stockpiles of wood and one stockpile of steel. So that will go just there. And I will place another one just here where we can find two um, stockpiles of coal. And we simply just connect these to our centre area here. But I'm probably going to have to quickly just get some... Actually, no, I can cancel... I'll cancel this first. And I will just build a road for this one here so I can get some more of the building materials. So we will speed this up. And we will build this and then we'll assign some workers here. Um, slow it down. I'll give you a max of 10 workers in this one here. Uh, it's actually generating a fair amount of uh, stone, um, steel and wood. I think if you assign people here, it's, about, it's a lot quicker. It does it a lot quicker. Um, so I'm going to assign 15 workers onto this stockpile of wood crates, just so as we can get the, uh, the resources we require fairly quickly. But yeah, people who work in here, they stay nice and toasty and warm as they go in and out and work and gather resources from this point. So it's a good way to prevent your people getting ill to start off with. Okay, so I'm now going to cancel this and I'm going to plant another gather point here and we'll get people working there to start gathering the coal we require. Now, we've got our first notification here. It's demands of the people. Uh, no roof over our heads. Captain, people are un understandably concerned about the lack of shelter. They're falling ill from sleeping outside in this terrible cold. We do be we'd better do something about it. So you can either promise to shelter everyone in two days. So I need eight houses. Each house provides ten um, places of sh uh, ten, 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 ten beds, shall we say, for ten people. Um, or I could do half of it. Um, I don't want to invest all my wood into providing houses now because then I won't be able to develop my economy. So I'm only going to provide four and that will provide some hope for the colony as well. So um, I'm going to plant four of these. One, two, three. Oh, and we'll need a bit more wood. But it um, you'll notice that there is a day-night cycle as well. So at six o'clock, people stop working. So I'll be able to provide three houses for the time being. Oh, here comes another demand. What's this? Um, a word of advice. The wisdom of the crowd. Captain, when facing demands, remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree with everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. Thank you. I bear that in mind. So the Book of Laws uh, adaptation allows you to customize or direct your little city in the direction of setting out certain laws that can either benefit your settlement in one way but could potentially um, reduce the efficiency in another. So for one example, uh, if we look at child labour, you can either provide child shelters or you can go for child labour, only for safe jobs like gathering etc. Not, they're not working in hazardous conditions like in a factory and whatnot. 
I am going to go for child shelters. Namely, because when you go through this um, particular route, you can then have... You can then use these children eventually to become medic apprentices or engineer apprentices, which is quite helpful in boosting the efficiency of uh, factories and uh, infirmaries and medical medical posts. So I'm going to sign child shelters for now, just so as they have somewhere to stay. Okay, that's fine. So we have we have got some housing. Oh goodness gracious, who wants this? What's this? Generator, the heating is off, the generator is off. People are afraid that they'll freeze to death in their sleep. If you don't at least turn it on for the night, of course. How much coal have I got? Oh, I've got no coal. Right, okay, well, I've failed. I have failed the start of this a little bit. Should have probably put a gathering post here. Got that coal coming in, but I'm sure people will be fine overnight. They're, they're relatively warm, uh, but there are quite a few people just sat around here. Yeah, we have people dying already. So... Open the book of laws. We'll, 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 we'll sort that out shortly. So people are actually dying of the cold as we speak. So I'm actually trying a different build order this time around. But once it's six o'clock in the morning, there we go. People. Oh, eight o'clock is the time of work, and we'll get people here to start working here as well. Um. So I've fulfilled that promise. I'm actually going to get more people on these as well at the same time as do uh, people working through the shelter. So that's going to be like really, really quick. We've got steady income of resources here. Um, I am going to build a shelter for the children. And I'm going to probably place it hmm, just there. And I'm going to place a factory next door as well. An early, early stage factory so we can start researching new technologies. Or is it a workshop? It is a workshop and I'll place that now and I'll get my engineers working on that too. Children to care for, that's what we need. Um, that should take up, how many children have we got? Nine. Uh, that is the end of the work shift and we will turn on our generator. So that's going to provide heating within the radius. This is a tier one radius here. All food, the generator hums reassuring warmth, but we shouldn't take it for granted. If the generator goes down, the city dies. Be mindful of coal reserves. So in addition to obviously managing coal and uh, other resources there is also food you have to keep your people fed um and i don't think we have enough resources we will have to do that next day we'll gather well we'll start putting people on here just to gather a bit more extra wood a bit more quickly and i'm gonna put some engineers no I can't put engineers there no engineers on that we will fill that up with engineers there the way that I'm going to build out the settlement is housing is purely going to go off in this direction for this quadrant or half, basically half of this area, um, because it'll be easier to heat if you keep them all in like a uh, like a, a petal shape rather than a slowly out spiraling uh, settlement. I find anyway, I thought it was more easier to do it. You build outwards and build heaters within the areas. Um, and then you can keep your factories close to the heat here and they'll continue to function and also other workplaces. Uh, but research wise, I am going to go for exploration and industry and get myself a beacon, which will allow me to send out explorers. Which is good. Um, just so you know as well, this I am going to be recording an hour or so and then I'll split this hour into four parts, meaning four 15 minute segments for the first episode. So episode part one, two, three and four and so on and so forth. So I'll be four parts to every episode, which I think will make for good viewing. Uh, Edward Lenton, let's get to work. We can't let up now. So it's, uh, it's getting time for work time. We can keep going for like this for a while, I say. So people are somewhat hopeful. Um, but apparently there was an unpopular decision for making children or sheltering children. Right, what advice? Critical shortage. Uh, the number of sick is rising. We don't have enough materials to build a medical post. Perhaps short bursts of effort. I guess we could. Uh, yeah, I think emergency sh shift would be of benefit, especially if we could get people to work slightly longer. Okay, well, we'll be fine. We'll be fine once we've got some more people working on the wood there. Okay, let's speed this up. So, 35 homeless and some people are sick. Um, I may, 
in fact, want to start putting people... How many can I fit around here? Just rotate this around. One, two, and three. So three more houses, which I think will get the majority of the people that I need working. And I can probably put a medical post just here as well. So that brings us to the close of episode one, part one. Be sure to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to reading your comments in the comment section. Uh, the next part, part two of episode one, will be out this Friday, so be sure to tune in then. This is GG Mars Hill signing up for now. Ciao.